Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to make a fade out effect on the Microsoft Movie Maker software. So even when the software is really old, uh, I think there hasn't been updates since 2012, uh, it's still available, it's still good, it's free and a lot of people like it, but it has some limitations. So I just wanted to have uh, fade out effect in this video. So this is the last part and I needed a fade out effect. So you can see this is the last part, last seconds and um, it would be really nice to ha have a fade out effect here because I have a fade in effect at the beginning as you can see. Don't know why it's louder. Uh, yeah make it a little bit um yeah it's really strange why you have the sound so loud now yeah i can't regulate unfortunately i'm sorry oh okay so um what you would think is you uh, unfortunately it, it's in german but um uh, the english thing is is very very similar so uh what pe a lot of people would think there's something in animations so you you have a lot of nice effects but the thing is whatever you choose there are a lot of different things you, even you have a, a narrow down for more options whatever you do whatever you choose it will be at the beginning here there's a sign which shows that the effect or the animation will be at the beginning there's nothing whatever you choose here is not at the end everything is at the beginning as you can see in this demonstration there are so many nice things I like uh, especially these things here they look really great but it everything is at the beginning not nothing at the end so what what you have to do I mean uh, there's one thing what people would maybe think so you can copy like this uh, just the, the second last part here to the end and then choose uh, on the last part something but it's really as you can see here it's really at the last part it's not uh, one part in the end of the second last part and one part in the first in the beginning of the last part it's not a cross it's only at the end so this doesn't help well uh, you you can forget uh, this option so we have to find something which works here and so we have uh, there's another option we can go to the click here it says more and we can go down oh, hold on a second I did something wrong So actually before we continue before we continue we have to make sure that this part has the right length where we want to apply uh, something uh, because it can be then too long otherwise. So here we are at the big uh, when you when you click on that last part you can see how long it is. It's 628 to 6 40 eh, 54 so it's almost half a minute uh, and if we apply something a fade out effect it would cover the whole thing so the fade, a fade out effect would be half a minute so that's definitely too long I want it to have it just about four seconds so I go to 650 uh, yeah around here oh it's 54 so 49 would be perfect five seconds I think go a little bit back doesn't matter so uh, and then I cli right click here and say uh, split um, okay so what I want to have is also um, like a like a fade over or a crossover from here to here which uh, because I have every everywhere the same uh, crossover and so I have to click on that you see it's coming here but I still don't have a fade out effect so I want to apply here a fade out effect only on these four seconds but um, yeah no that was not a good idea to have a fade in effect because it's only four seconds so I, I delete this uh, no fade in effect only fade effects fade out effect so we have to go to visual effects uh, click on this arrow 
says more then we click on the here more uh, several or more than one effect I don't know how it's called in English and here we have uh, many things like it says uh, fade to black uh, fade to white and the things are um, there are fade in effects and fade out effects that's a really tricky thing and um, yeah so you have to try really out what I've been using is here it says resolve into pixels and I was hoping that it's uh, like a fade out effect and it, it's definitely a fade out effect so if you need one of these fade in effects as well but you have to find out which one is a, a fade in effect so or fade in I think at least I mean uh, um, I have been uh, checking in the uh, instructions and it was saying that there are also oh here you see left I think left means fade in right means fade out I'm pretty sure I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty sure so yeah anyway here I say this dissolve in pixels uh, and I think it's a fade out effect we can uh, add more if you want like uh, left and so we ha would have this cinema left effect and this right effect and we could say uh, yes and it would have both but um, it's a really strange thing that the Microsoft has decided to have fade in effects here and also in animations I don't get it why this is so now let's try this and as you can see it's working maybe it's too short a little bit too short maybe I would have to make it for 10 seconds or so yeah it's not bad maybe I make it a little bit longer but anyway you, as you see um, the thing is it's uh, not really a fade I mean yeah it's a fade out effect of course because it's getting uh, stronger let's try it starts a little bit and then then the uh, pixels uh, get get uh, stronger and bigger and so it, it, it's definitely a fade out effect but you have to try you have to really try for all of these things again we are here here you have to click more effects and then you are, are here and then you can try whatever you want and then that's it so i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time